I'm Elaine Sims. I'm on the campus and farm of St. Catharines College. Please excuse my sunglasses, but the sun is quite bright. <laughs> I have with me Dr. Cindy Nattinger, and I would like to uh, welcome you to St. Catharines, number one. Thank you and so much. The main thing we really want to talk about right now is, uh, besides you being the new president, which we all will know locally, uh, we want to talk about what the purpose are that we're on this farmland here and what this is all about. Well, thanks for asking, and thanks for being here today. I'm glad to have you. Uh, we uh, kicked off our inauguration week, and um, my installation will be officially on Friday with the blessing and dedication of our college farm. Uh, we're situated here uh, on the campus at St. Catherine. We've got 38 acres of, of land dedicated for our uh, Bachelor of Arts degree and our Bachelor of Science degree in farming and ecological agrarianism program. Uh, we, we often refer to that as the Berry Farming Program, named, of course, for famed novelist, uh, 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 author and activist Wendell Berry. Okay. Um, you have been around here for just for, well, over a year. A little over a over year. A year. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to be become officially the new president. The Berry program, we will talk about this a little bit later. Were you familiar with it as you before you even came into St. Catharines? I was. It was one of the things that drew me here. I'll be very honest about that. Uh, I'm, I'm very familiar with the works of, of Wendell Berry and the idea that we would have in, in the most beautiful land in Kentucky, uh, in Washington County, the sustainable farming program that we do uh, was a, a big draw for me, I'll be honest, when I was leaving North Carolina and thinking about coming back. Well, when we started these interviews many years ago, especially when the Berry Farm, the Berry Program starts, was, was, was in its early days, you know, we talked about this a lot to our people who watch this all over the Tri-County area. Mm -hmm. And I think even then they were thinking, okay, sustainability, what exactly are we talking about? What do we mean by that? This, this, is, this is the land that the Catholic Maryland Catholics came to, and the first thing that they raised here was tobacco, and you know what that did to us. Sure. It depleted sure. our property. Uh, they, you have to use so many chemicals for that. Sustainability, you want to talk about what we plan to do with this? Well, I can, although I think our faculty would be better better uh, people to share the details of that, but I can say that this is so in line with our mission here as um, as Dominicans, uh, and, and Dominicans ha are called uh, and, and do a wonderful job of caring for the earth. Uh, very popular right now now is the Pope's latest encyclical, uh, Laudato Si, which uh, translates to on care for our common home. And he calls for all people, not just Catholics, but all people to uh, be a little more uh, uh, aware and, and active in making sure that we take care of this, this planet, uh, because we're not doing a very good job of that. And so this program is tied right along with that, and we're very proud of it. I now have with me Dr. Leah Baines. Uh, I think her mm -hmm. face is probably very familiar to mm -hmm. our audience from years past. Mm -hmm. You've been here at St. Catharines now for? This is my fourth year at St. Catharines. At the purpose of you coming to St. Catharines was for the Berry Program. That's right. Okay, let's do a little synopsis of the Berry Program very okay. quickly just to remind our audience because it's been a while since we've been able to talk to you. Sure, so the Berry Farming Program is an undergraduate program here at St. Catharines College. Uh, we offer a BA and a BS in sustainable agriculture and all that means is that we're working on different kinds of farming practices that make sure that our soil and our land is uh, still good for generations after generation after generation. So we're looking at a lot of how um, uh, how environmental impacts of farming really impact the land. And uh, we have 23 students in our program now. They are started out with four. Started out with four our first year, and so we are growing exponentially. We're really excited about the students who come into our program because they represent a variety of backgrounds and interests. And so uh, we've got students who are from here in Kentucky, from uh, New York State, Georgia, Texas, but then we also have some students who are here from different international locations, uh, three students from Africa, one from India, and one from Nepal. So we're attracting a varied group of really outstanding young people. Well, and it's very interesting because, I mean, I think one thing we need to make clear to our audience uh, in case they still a little confused. I mean, we're talking about raising crops, making the land profitable, and using as little chemicals as possible Absolutely. and I think that's so important mm -hmm. um, I think as we're all become more and more aware of this we key into the little little uh, paragraphs we see in southern living or garden and gun or mm -hmm. 
or any uh, better homes and gardens, how can you how can you even work on your lawn and use less chemicals? Mm -hmm. and, and of course, we're trying to maintain and sustain what we have so that we can hand it down to our children, our grandchildren, That's right. children and grandchildren. Mm -hmm. uh, and Kentucky's a prime place for it. Wendell Berry chose this place, mm -hmm. number one, because it's Kentucky. Well, it's Kentucky, it's Kentucky. that's right. It's mm -hmm. Everybody wanted it and mm -hmm. we got it. That's we got right. It. Uh, the program seems to be going very well. Mm -hmm. It's into its third, that's third right. year. This is our third year of offering classes in the program and we're really excited to have this uh, campus farm blessing today as a way to inaugurate the use of this uh, particular land for our educational uh, purposes for our, uh, for our students certainly but also for the community as well. We'll have demonstrations and different activities out here for the community members too. This farm is located on the triangle as you turn in to go to St. Catharines mm -hmm. toward the uh, roundabout. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's 38 acres. Mm -hmm. uh, it, some of it has been used. Do you want to talk about what it was used sure. for? Sure. Um, so this is, some people in the community might know this as the Fenwick Farm. Uh, the, ha the farm itself is located behind the Cherry Hill House, which is on the historic register. Um, from what we, what we know about its immediate past use is that it has been farmed by uh, Parker Beam. He ran cattle over here on this property and before that I'm pretty sure from some of the documents that I've been able to find that this has been used for some different kinds of row crop production primarily corn and tobacco in the past. Sure, sure. Uh, this farm probably when the sisters came here and when mm -hmm. Matthew Walton came right over here mm -hmm. belonged originally possibly to the St. Catharines farm or it was either belonged to the to the uh, to the Matthew Walton farm so it's been yes. here for hundreds of years yep, absolutely. well of course it's been here for hundred years it's land <laughs> we just want to keep it right, this way exactly we just want right. to keep it this yeah, way well thank you use. thank you we had a brief program mm -hmm. there were five soils mixed from that's different, right five the, different the Dominican sisters apiece have five different farms of course they have the St. Catherine farm which is a, is located across the road across business 150 from uh, the plot of land that we have here St. Catherine farm uh, Shepherd's Corner Farm in Columbus, Crown Point that's up in Akron, Ohio, uh, Crystal Springs which is in Plainville, Massachusetts, and um, the Heartland Farm which is in uh, uh, Pawnee Rock, Kansas. So what we did is we mixed together soils from all of those different locations and we um, s symbolically spread that on the land here. We were also able to collect some water from Cartwright Creek which is the creek that runs straight through the Dominican uh, Sisters Farm and um, we uh, were able to mix that together with a little bit of holy water from the um, from the holy site Lourdes in France and we sprinkled that um, on on the land and then also onto um, as a blessing onto the the guests here well as we stand here on this picture-perfect day <laughs> ordered and, and received 